According to recent survey, 90% of theft in Indian metro cities go unreported. This survey included four metro cities of India: Delhi, Mumbai, Bengaluru, and Chennai. Eight out of hundred citizens of Delhi are victim of theft. But what is worse, that only six percent of the victim reported the incident to police. Reason behind that is police in India is not willing to register an incident. Condition is more or less same in small cities and worse in some cases. Available solutions in the market are either expensive or ineffective. Like recruiting a guard for individual house is expensive, and most of the people cannot afford it. For CCTV camera, also you have to pay heavy one-time charges and then annual or monthly maintenance charges. Still, they can only record an incident, cannot avoid it. Smart security solutions available in market are still a luxury and very expensive. But open source technologies can be a solution for this. Open source technology consists of hardware and software which are absolutely free to use and modify. In this video, we will see how we can use these simple technologies to secure our home. I will make a device which will detect whether the door is closed or open, and sends the information over the internet to your smartphone using the Blink server. To secure your house, you have to close the door and set the alarm mode to on in your Blink app. Green LED will be turned on. Now, if someone opens the door, it will trigger the alarm, and you will start receiving notification on your phone in Blink app. This will continue till you switch off the alarm mode. We will begin with connecting Node MCU to different components in Eagle Semantics. For connection, use the GPIO pin number instead of digital pin number, as most of the software like Arduino IDE recognizes GPIO pin number only. Here are the important connection to be noted down. Magnetic door sensor is connected to GPIO 5 pin. Buzzer is connected to GPIO 15. Alarm state LED is connected to GPIO 4. You can download Semantics and Eagle project file from my website. Link is in the description. Then I assemble the complete Semantic on breadboard. Before uploading the code, we have to set up the Blink app. Download and sign up to Blink app. Click on scan icon in upper right corner and scan the QR code on our website to replicate the complete project on Blink app. In project, click on the net icon and click on email all. and it will send the authorization token number to your registered email id now download the arduino code from my website and update the authorization token with the token number you have received on email also we have to update the wifi name and password in the code now upload the code to the node mcu board if you have not used any esp8266 based board with arduino ide earlier then you have to add support for node mcu board to arduino ide i have given a link to my blog in the description where i mentioned the steps to install esp8266 support to arduino ide after testing the working of project on breadboard i got the pcb printed and i solder all the components on it and tested the board again in which i found i forgot to add a ground to the node mcu which i added separately and after satisfied with the performance i installed the sensor to my door i have ordered some extra pcb which i am giving away to my subscribers so please subscribe to this channel and follow me on instagram to participate in the giveaway to claim the pcb replicate this project on breadboard and send the video to my email id i am giving the 5 pcb soldered and tested and i only have shipping option available in india so participate only if you have indian shipping address please comment below for any further inquiry This is my first video kindly subscribe to the channel if you like this video also write your feedback and suggestion on how i can improve the video content so that i can make it more easy to understand